We explored a few ways to generate drum sounds, even rerouting the Roland IRA modules to create a mini drum machine of sorts. Let's put some of these lessons to use with Mutable Instruments Braids to create a one-stop shop for glitchy percussive sounds. Braids is an incredibly detailed digital oscillator with a number of useful features for our purposes, like a built-in attack decay envelope and VCA, among other things. Let's start by enabling these two features since they are both instrumental in getting percussive sounds. Push the main rotary encoder to the right of the display to go into the main menu. Scroll to the VCA menu and push the encoder. Switch the VCA to on and the internal envelope should immediately take over. Push the encoder again to return to the menu and scroll back to the decay page. Set the decay time to somewhere between 5 and 7 for a nice short percussive hit. If we send a clock to the trigger input on braids, we should get a percussive shape to whatever synthesis model is currently selected in the wave menu. We can exaggerate this by using the same internal envelope to modulate another basic parameter of the sound, frequency or pitch. If we scroll to the envelope FN menu, we can assign a certain amount of pitch modulation in addition to the VCA control. It doesn't take much pitch modulation to get the right effect, so try setting it to 4 or 5. We're getting closer. Let's enable meta mode. If we scroll back to the meta page and enable this mode, the FM input on braids will switch functions, now changing synthesis models depending on the incoming voltage. If we send a sequence into the FM input, we can modulate through the synthesis models, generating different and unique percussive patterns. The FM knob can be used to assign the amount of voltage controlling the meta motion. We can also send note sequences to braids to create more dynamic patterns. If we back out to the main menu and scroll back to the trigger source page, we can set the source to auto. Braids can track changes in voltage to the one volt per octave pitch input and use these changes to trigger the envelope. Using this mode, we can send a sequence to the pitch input and each note will trigger the envelope without the need for the trigger input. If we start playing with the timbre and color controls, we can further expand the palette of drum sounds that we're working with. We can also route an external envelope like Maths to an external VCA, as we have in the past, to get more independent control of our sounds. With this setup, we can use braids almost exclusively to generate all kinds of complex drum patterns, maybe even entire break core tracks. Thanks for watching and as always, please like, follow and subscribe.